Build Your Big True. We're at Women's Empowerment 2011 here with comedian uh, Terry Tuff. How you doing, sir? I'm doing fine. How are you? It's great to see you again. Um, people here in Raleigh are very familiar with you. Uh, we remember you from being on Foxy 107, 104 with Cy Young in the mornings. That's correct. And um, you're an outstanding comedian. Um, well, thank you very much. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we, know you we know you for your impersonations. And also, um, but more recently, within the last 10 years, you've actually changed a little bit. You've actually gone from the, the type of comedy we used to get in comedy clubs to clean comedy. Talk a little bit about uh, your transition um, over the last few years from uh, what we're familiar with to clean comedy. You're, you're, you're exactly right. When I first started going stand-up in 1987, when I hit the stage, whatever was on my mind, I discussed. But I left the business for about 10 years uh, to help my wife raise our boys. And I, I decided when I came back, uh, you know, because I was just telling you, you know, I think if God allows you to live and you mature and grow as a man and you don't change, then really what's the purpose of living? Right? And I felt the same way about my comedy. And I knew I could write, I knew I could create stuff, I knew I had voices and characters in me. So I just decided to do clean comedy and it's opened up a lot of doors for me. I, I work places now that I, I, in, in the past I couldn't even get a call from. So, But it's, it's just my personal taste. It, it, what other comedians do is totally different than I'm not encouraging or telling anyone how to do their stand up. But for me, I, I will always be clean uh, as long as I'm in this business. Okay. Um, so tell us a little bit about the, the most recent projects you have. We have to have a DVD, correct? I have a brand new DVD out called Clean and Funny uh, because there's a perception that if you're clean, you can't be funny. But, you know, a lot of people have that perception and, and, you know, and, and you don't make money. But if you look around, I don't think any comedian has made any more money than Bill Cosby. Right. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and so I, when I do talk to young comedians, I, I just encourage you, if you look at Bill, I mean, Bill is probably the only uh, comedian, the black comedian who's taken the clean uh, uh, road and made a lot of money and is quite successful. So, I mean, there, there are opportunities for it. Uh, uh, but, yeah, I, that's the reason that we created the Clean and Funny DB, just to let people know you can be funny, you can be intelligent, you can talk about what you want to talk about, but you don't have to be vulgar or use profanity. Or, or be graphic in, 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 your, in, in your comedy. And, uh, you know, people are people. I mean, we all are watching the news. We all know what's going on. We keep up with the current events. I like to write about the current events. Now, I'll, I'm going to talk about Tiger Woods. I'm going to talk about, you know, Barack Obama. Uh, I'm going to talk about the Tea Party. I'm going to talk about it all, but, you know, I'm, I'm going to wrap some humor around it. That's, you know, I talk about race in my show as well. A lot of people ask me why I talk about race in my show. And, and the main reason I do is I like to, to, to play some sunshine on silliness. Right. Uh, I think we spend so much time in this country talking about race, and, and if we spent as, as half amount of that time, you know, learning about one another, yeah. we would be such a great, great country. But that's the main reason I talk about race is to, sign, to, to put some sunshine on stupidity. And so, uh, but I'll talk about anything you want to talk about on stage. I just, I just clean it up. Yeah, talk a little bit about the misconception that uh, the Christian community, uh, their desire for clean comedy. That we don't like comedy because it's just it's just this one thing that we automatically assume that the comedian won't work well because you have done very well with it. Mark D. Wiley has done very well with it. Talk a little bit about the misconception. It's a it's a huge misconception because I do a lot of events that are sponsored by churches. I do events in churches and and, and you know I love God like everybody loves God. And Christian folk love to have a good time. Right. But they're you know they're bright, they're intelligent, they know what's going on. And if you, it's, it's all about presentation. It's, it's how you, it's how you present it, present it to the audience. And if you present it with some knowledge and, and some intelligence and humor, they enjoy it very. I mean, you can, you can see what Harvey's doing out there. Steve Harvey's doing right now with this audience. You know, he's talking about what he wants to talk about. Right? He's taking the audience where he wants to take them, but he's keeping it clean and fun. Right? And so there's a huge misconception about uh, people who, who, who are clean, funny on stage. Uh, uh, that, that uh, a lot of the audience don't, don't, don't get what you're talking about. That's, that's totally off the base. Okay. Yeah. So is that a transition that you see a lot of our comedians that are um, in the comedy clubs now making over the next few years uh, to just broaden their audience? I would like to say yes. I would like to see a lot of comedians do that. I tell you a comedian you can do it right now and it would, would just destroy the world. Dave Chappelle is one of the brightest kids that you will ever meet. You know, I, I remember Dave, Dave and I, uh, a friend of mine named Tony Woods, was me, and we used to take Dave into the club in Maryland. He was just a little kid, they wouldn't let him come into the club. And they would make him leave as soon as the show was over. Dave has been a bright, intelligent, uh, uh, smart, uh, clever comedian since he was born that way. 
if he wanted to go clean, he, he could control the market right. because he's a bright, intelligent guy. Do I see a lot of comedians going that way? Not right now because I think a lot of comedians, young comedians, see, see, you know, a lot of comedians. If, if you get everybody you talk to, young comedians, or well, Richard Pryor did. But there was only one Richard Pryor. Right. <laughs> you know, that was, and, and the way Rich did it was he was fantastic at what he did. He, he knew when to curse. And, you know, when he cursed, it was almost like that. You had to curse right there because that made it sound right. But, you know, I just think a lot of young comedians sit down and spend some time with their craft, started writing, reading, and understand what's going on out here. It would, they would make it. It would be a, 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 just a great opportunity for a lot of young comedians. I do. I'm good. So, so what do you think is the future for Terry Tuck? Because your career continues to, to move forward. What do you think the future is? You know, I get that question all the time. I have no expectations. I really don't. I used to put pressure on myself. I wanted to be the, the funniest, the greatest. At this point in my life, I'm just happy to be here. I woke up this morning, and it, it, to me, it doesn't get any better than that. Um, you know, it, whatever God has for me is for me. Um, uh, it, if he wants me to, to go to another level, fine. If he wants me to continue going where I'm going or go in another direction, I'm, I'm more than open to go. Whatever. I have no idea. I'm happy. I really am. I'm, I'm very happy with me. I, I love me. And Because uh, people, someone asked me a moment ago, do I feel pressure going behind Steve Harvey? Not at all. I'm Terry Tuff. He's Steve Harvey. He does what he does. I do what I do. And I'm going to do my bits and, and go home. I've got another show to do tonight. I'm not okay. <laughs> so, you know, I, I have no expectations. I, you know, whatever's for me, it's for me. Okay. I'm Troy O'Neill with Terry Tuff. Thank you. Yes, thank sir. you. We, we look forward to seeing more from you. And uh, thank you for being a part of Women's Empowerment 2011. Thank you for having me.